Hey guys, um, one of my early videos I did was um, talking about um, growing kale in the cracky method and I'm doing that now and um, the amazing thing about this um, particular plan is that when you trim it, it just keeps on growing, it just keeps producing. So it's an amazing um, plant to grow with um, the cracky method so I definitely would um, always encourage you to grow veggies but this particular method is is unbelievable it just I've been trimming this kale plant for um, these six kale plants now for um, probably the last month or so and they just keep on producing they're unbelievable and there's no pumps no electricity needed uh, first time doing cracky method and um, I'll give you a quick sneak peek. And um, I don't really like eating kale, but uh, it's a really great, it's one of the superfoods and it's amazing for juicing. So we put it in our juice. So um, definitely something to, to think about if you are looking to get nutrients and, and vitamins and minerals and all, all that good stuff that kale produces, but you don't like eating it because some people fry it up and they and they have special recipes on how they cook it but not a big fan of eating it myself um, but juicing it is amazing so i'll just give you a quick look at these i've got six plants in in a tub um, and generally they're so close together but because i'm trimming them so often um, they don't crowd one another so they're really good if you're going to be cutting them uh, like like what we do on a daily basis they're really good to grow quite close together and I'll show you the root system as well and um, just show you how many how many cuts I've made on these particular plants this is red Russian kale uh, I've got some Tuscan or dinosaur kale they call it growing in the soil in one of my um, veggie plots in one of the beds but um, yeah first time doing cracking method and I'm really um, stoked at how how good it's going and, and just it's so easy I mean there's no pumps no electricity nothing like that you literally just set and forget um, these tubs are 60 litre storage tubs and um, I've just brought them down to the Bunnings which is like a like a, um, a Walmart type of store um, a big hardware store and $10 each drilled some holes put my net pots in I've done little bit of hydroponics but this is the first time doing cracky method and i um, really stoked I saw um, a couple of videos from some guys I watch on YouTube and they they said that uh, growing cracky method um, leafy greens is really easy and um, it's if not better than deep water culture so aerating so um, anyway I'll show you I'll give you a quick um, peek at what they look like Um, here's the tubs. So I've got uh, one, two, three, four, five, six, so six plants in each. Over here is spinach. They took a little bit longer to kick off, but now they're looking really nice and healthy. And soon I'll start trimming off those too. So you can see here, so they always say to cut kale from the bottom. So you can see here I've made sort of five or six cuts already off this one particular plant. Um, same with this one. And you can see I've just made some cuts now. They're not super bushy, but I mean, these just continually keep growing out. So more leaves just keep growing out, um, which is amazing and really, really good if you want to grow in a really easy, if you don't even have a, um, a backyard to grow plants in the soil, this is amazing. Like I said, 60 litres, 60 litre storage tub. So nice, nice big tub. Look at those roots, unbelievably white and healthy all joined together which is common but you know there's there's still quite a lot of water in there I mean they haven't, they haven't really gone through all that much water and they're producing like crazy so I mean this will see it out to the end of the to the end of their life um, let's pop pop that on there we go so that's that's the uh, kale crack method update I mean have a look here's the um, spinach as well so they're looking very nice deep green anything with deep green is very good for you in the um nutritional world so you can see here i'll lift these up 
see the roots aren't as much, but they don't grow like kale. Kale grows unbelievably fast. It's probably one of the easiest vegetables to grow, but um, spinach is a little bit slower, but spinach is also one of the superfoods. I think they said something along the lines of spinach is the best veggie that you can, um, well, as far as vitamins and nutrients and minerals and what have you. So, but I mean, awesome for growing. This is winter. It's, it's, it's the, you know, we're in winter now. It's sort of dropping down to sort of five degrees overnight here in, in Melbourne. I'm on the Mornington Peninsula. Um, really, these these particular veggies, especially spinach and kale, um, love cold, the cold weather. Um, but um, really easy to grow. Like, like I said, put my nutrients, put my pH down to bring it down to around about six. I actually started off at about 5.5 the pH um, then just left it because over time the pH is slowly going to go up as the as the water level goes down the pH will slowly go up so I haven't even checked the pH but I'm just looking at the plant health and the plants look amazingly healthy so I'm not even too worried about checking in so yeah I mean tomorrow I'll probably come out and I'll trim like something like that that leaf there I mean look at the size of it and they because it's growing optimum um, conditions they grow super fast so really really good definitely encourage you to do it like I said 10 bucks a tub you just need some net pots here some clay balls and some nutrients and nutrients last to a long time so and some pH down so really easy to get going if you do have any questions though pop it down in the comments and I'll try and help you out even if you want to get something like this set up let me know because I'm really keen to help people set something like this up um, and get more people growing veggies and what have you in their own um, their own space. All right, thanks for watching, guys. Um, give it a thumbs up if you if you like it as well. All right, cheers.